This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another tour review and today... A little disappointed. Okay, I ordered this. You, you can already know what this is. This is G1 Ultra Magnus. But this is the Encore. Uh, but this is a KO. You know, because I, I don't want to pay 300 bucks for an old toy. Uh, but this is a KO. And the reason I'm disappointed is I that's my fault. I didn't read the uh, the description properly, or I didn't check the box. I wanted an original because there is some slight differences between a G1 and an Encore. Mainly, I think, and maybe I'm wrong, okay? But the fists uh, are not the same. Uh, the stacks are not the same. And when I mean the fist, I mean the Optimus Prime fist. Um, they're different. There's a couple things that are different, so maybe it's stuff that they fixed or... Anyway, but I love this toy and the reason I got it is because... Well, I had the Optimus, I had the Black Convoy. I kind of needed that. And now, really, what I'm missing is a, a Delta Magnus. So whoever makes those KO, just make Diaclone KO. Anyway, um, looking forward to showing this to you guys. Uh, on... and you know, contrary to what I usually do, I applied the factory stickers and yeah, they're not that great, but the toy hack set is pretty expensive, so I'm going to skip it for now. Uh, but before I do the whole review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of, and also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store, and at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now, let's roll the intro. This is a rare moment where us grown ass men get to experience that rare emotion called happiness. And this is such a moment. It happens when we get married. It happens when we have a kid, when, you know, when he's born. And it happens when you play with your friend's toy that he would never let you play with. So screw you, Marco. I have this. I'm so happy to have this guy. Seriously, a... I don't want to say a grail because honestly I have the Studio Series 86 uh, Magnus and that's a fantastic toy. You know, prefer to this, but there's something about having this, you know, piece that you never could have and just play with it. And I've been playing with this guy since I opened it. A uh, few things though, because of my ignorance, I did not realize up front that this was the Encore version. And it's not, you know, it's not bad, there's just there are some slight differences, I think. So, you know, this is a G1 Optimus Prime Fist. And I forgot to turn my light. This is a Optimus Prime G1 KO Fist. And this is an Ultra Magnus Encore Fist. And you can see, you know, there's a, I don't know, it's like holding a cup. Uh, but the fist is more refined, a little bit. So, but I don't like this. I prefer this, you know, smoother. So anyway, so that's, you know, some nitpicking. Uh, the smokestacks are shorter because, you know, it was reported that, you know, a hundred thousand kids poked their eye out with that. I don't know why, I don't know how, but, you know, it's so stupid. Anyway, also, um, this, you know, having super long missiles. Uh, I'm tempted to, because you see, you know, you need it up to about here, the clip, and it's, there's just a bit of the hole that so I'm tempted to cut this here and cut this here and glue it back together and just have a shorter uh, missile like in the show but it's I don't have the experience doing it so but I have four of them so might as well try it and see what it gives but that might be a short for later uh, but the nostalgia of this thing is amazing I mean this is these are the cannons you know and then you put them right here but it looks stupid so anyway 
Uh, and everything else I think is pretty spot on to the original. So, so this is a KO Encore version. If it's a KO. I mean, it's so hard to tell because, where is it? You know, Hasbro 2011, Tomi China. Um, so, they put the stamp, so, but, you know, if you're gonna knock off something, might as well knock the whole thing. The audacity of KO companies is pretty wild, but I just wanted to have this. And a couple things that I, I wish I could do that I can't with this one, I'll show you in a moment. Uh, taking a look, you have the chest, which you can, once you install it inside here, you can just leave it there. Doesn't matter. You have two of these uh, things. Um, you this you can't leave it there because if you want to transform him you need to remove this so that the cab comes in there uh, you have the ultra magnus fist and you have the ultra magnus head with those dead hollow eyes uh, on top of that you have the actual figure which I've already applied the factory stickers and they're not bad uh, but they're not great either. And also the fact that they want you to put the lo logo here. Um, here I press too hard and all the rivets underneath are showing. Uh, this one I didn't press too hard. Uh, but, you know, it's not like flat. So that's weird. Uh, but I think that's that was the same problem with the original toy. Uh, you have the same, uh, well, you know, decals here. Uh, these are just same shape, different uh, design than uh, Optimus, uh, or actually Nemesis here, you know. So that's cool, it's different. It's not the whole, the same thing. I thought that that's what it was. Uh, here you have like a triangle instead of a square, uh, but even then the design of the, uh, was also slightly different. So yeah. But I mean, as much as I don't like the idea that Ultra Magnus just wears armor in the show, uh, because they never showed that when he transformed, you know, it was just one transformation. Um, there's so much playability with this. The fact that he's, you know, you put an armor around a white prime. For a show, it's not my favorite version. For comics, I know people love the idea that he's wearing like the Apex armor or the Ultra Magnus armor, but I don't. But for a toy, Fantastic playability, love it. And, and you know, it's a standard stuff. The uh, one thing though, I find that this here is uh, better. Um, you can't just turn it, you have to pull and turn while with Optimus and Nemesis, you can kind of just force it and it's gonna work well. But this one, I had to play a lot with it to be able to, you know, get that smooth motion. Um, and the arms were like super tight too. But now I think, you know, they're Pretty decent. Uh, you know, of course, the articulation on these things was minimal. Uh, arm, you know, the leg up and the, uh, the head, the leg, the head up and down a little bit. You know, you have this movement here, a little bit of rotation here. And then you have like a knee bend, toe move, uh, back kick, no front kick, no waist rotation. You know, that's about it. But I mean, everything else is pretty much the same. And the, um, the one thing um, is I think he's closer to this guy, uh, the KO Nemesis Prime, than he is to the um, KO Optimus Prime because uh, of the, um, the head. I can hold, you know, I showed it in my Black Convoy video. Uh, you can put the head on this guy and it's going to hold, but I can't put it on my Optimus. So, yeah. Man, I love this toy. Optimus is in no condition to assume leadership. Okay, and now to, you know, not transform him, but to complete the robot mode. I guess you can say transform, but I'll do the alt mode later. Uh, lift this. Separate here. Separate here. Clip. Clip. Ratchet sounds everywhere. Fantastic, make sure that that little red clip is on. There you go. And then of course what you do is, uh, no, you keep the head, put the arms in, and you're ready. But before I do that, one thing we did as a kid is take this guy, 
and you know we would play you know head cannon stuff and say that this guy would sometime borrow or steal uh, the armor but with this I can't do it well mainly because the leg is broken but it's not the same like the connection is not working super nice oh, actually now it is alright so I can do it but as I said I can't have the head so and that's just you know a little nitpick it's not too bad uh, but I'm glad I was able to get him in there I couldn't uh, yesterday and can I do it with this with uh, the black the black one hold on because I couldn't maybe I had something wrong with huh, see sometimes it's not superbly aligned ah well what do you know there you go black ultra magnus or evil ultra nemesis ultra magnus nemesis magnus ultra nemesis something all right well i proven myself wrong on camera that's probably the best way to do it all right and now for the real deal you just plug you know you know how to do this now you plug this into those bags and you make sure that the wheels on this he has uh, special plugs for the wheels compared to the other two uh, so that uh, they go into that slot so that it adds to the stability I'm guessing and then you put the head with this and never remove it you don't have to and then this with the extra long missiles so it looks goofy and this one is a little loose and you have the fist, the other fist, there we go, and the gun. Uh, which, yeah, th there's a way that you know you put the second, the little, uh, little hand, and you know Optimus Prime. Well, actually, White Prime can hold it. Uh, oh, there we go. And here's complete transformation. No. And that's uh, his uh, complete form, I guess. So, I don't want to say armored up, but that's what it is. That's what the toy was. Forget about me. The shuttle has priority. The peace conference depends on it. I love the details. Um, well, not the details, because it's pretty crude, but I mean, the, the, all the molded details, the belt, uh, you know, the legs. Uh, the ramp that opens up, uh, all the molded details, not many stickers. Uh, like I said, these are the factory stickers, and I'm pretty sure that they're the same that Toy Hacks would offer. Um, and I didn't go with Toy Hacks this time because it's a pretty expensive set. So, yeah, I mean, sometimes you just can't Toy Hacks everything, unfortunately. Uh, but I, you know, we, in the back, it's. It's ugly, you know, you can tell right now that this is, you know, there's no back cover, so. And there's no articulation once you have the trailer over him. I mean, you could maybe do some leg movement uh, if you unpin this. So you could, I don't know, have him walk in a sense. Uh, there's articulation here. There's the up and down, which, you know, doesn't do anything there's rotation here there's uh, the elbow band the hand rotates and while well, the head is stuck there so not much for articulation but still there's something about the G1 toys that it's nostalgia and the fact that I didn't have this and that my friend would never want us to play with it because um, I think he was over Transformers at that point he had like a suitcase like a huge suitcase Full of uh, G1 Transformers, and he wouldn't want to play with any of them. So, yeah. But yep, I love this story. I'm gonna do some. Let's do now. Let's do some uh, 
some size comparison. Let's clean this up, uh, put him on the side, and uh, man, he's big. Let me just adjust the camera. There you go. Let's compare him with Masterpiece Sunstreaker. And you know what? This scales really well. I didn't try that before, but yeah, I mean, Ultra Magnus would tower over a deluxe, uh, a warrior like Sunstreaker. Yeah, no, that's that that fits real good. Siege Ultra Magnus, and for Cybertronian mode, this is a fantastic figure. Um, one of my first, uh, you know, at the time, more expensive figure that I bought. It's still one of my favorite. I just, I skipped on Kingdom because I dislike the alt mode so much. Uh, but, I mean, darker blue, you know, more details, of course. Uh, he's toy axed. Yeah, so it's a great representation, but he's like super small compared to the G1. I had not realized that. So yeah, it's great to have these two together. But to have these two together, wow. And of course, this one is more tune accurate, you know, and I, I, that's my figure 2023. Top figure, love it. Fantastic transformation, fantastic everything. Uh, toy hacks. Uh, but I mean, there's a lot of nostalgia with this one. Uh, but to have these two want the side by side, wow, amazing. I really dig this. All right, so now I'm going to turn this guy into a truck and do some more reviewing. This is how I'm going to display Ultra Magnus probably because I really want to have like all the three cabs one next to the other. But anyway, this is a fantastic cab. And of course, the best feature of this one was that you had the ramps and you could take G1 Warriors and roll them into, you know, maybe not three, four of those, but you could have him and then maybe, I don't know, Bumblebee, just go in, there you go, that fits. And then you could put, let's say Hubcap and Cliff Jumper right here and go to war. That's something you could do. and. Of course, now we can do it with the Ultra Magnus from Studio Series 86, but the Siege and the Kingdom mode were, were just so frustrating, you couldn't do that. So, you know, a car carrier that can't carry cars, come on. So, this, fantastic. Clip it up, and clip it back. There you go. And it rolls really nice. I mean, this wheel here isn't touching, but everything else, perfect. Love the look. You know, I have a rub symbol. Uh, found it. Does that work? I haven't tested this one. All right, let me rub, rub, rub. Ah, there you go. Yep, works perfectly. Come on, where is it? There you go. So, I mean, it looks great. Um, of course, there's no articulation, all that stuff. Uh, the missiles do fire, or at least they did off camera. There you go. Oh, and the satisfying bang. There you go. So, yeah, I'm still probably gonna try to cut them up and, or maybe just get shorter 3D printed ones. I don't know. Uh, but I love this. This. Yeah, this takes me back. And now, of course, on camera, can get the peg in properly. There you go. So, yeah. Don't know how I'm gonna display him, but uh, with the, uh, you know, the, well, why don't I show you? Then we will go our separate ways, but the next time we meet, it will be as enemies. Well, that's not the greatest angle, but that's what I'm able to do with my current setup but that's something like that that I want to display side by side all the the trucks and it looks good I don't know I'm on a G1 bender my next review that I'm filming is the G1 Computron and then after that I'm done for a while with G1 but there's just you know when there's a good price a good opportunity to have something from your childhood why not it's worth it I think I had great experiences so far with AliExpress I know a lot of people are finding them on Timu but Timu is more expensive from up here in Canada. So go ahead and uh, check AliExpress if you're looking for uh, a bit of uh, nostalgia. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, love reading those. Keep coming back after I'm on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives it a right to be an asshole. Take care.